right, we're checking out the only games where the best safety feature that a vehicle can have is how many lives it can end. It's dangerous driving games. Not gonna lie, my very first question was, can you make the ramp as absolutely ridiculous as possible? <laughs> and my prayers were <laughs> answered. <laughs> oh, what could possibly go wrong? Alrighty. I don't know if I, it stuck to the ground. <laughs> it actually stuck to the ramp. That's amazing. Oh, I'm going. I, I got a distance of negative 10 meters. <laughs> ramp car jump is three words. That's amazing because it exists in two worlds. The normal world where you buy your different boosts and then the drawn world where you put those boosts to work. Can I literally just like draw a line that goes right to the bullseye? You can. Like, am I really actually doing anything at this point? I'm kind of just going in a straight line. I think I may get it. What do you know? <laughs> Congratulations. Ow. Oh, oh, I'm actually leaving the entire... I was leaving the whole stadium. Oh, my car's starting to get pretty legit. So as we always know, you always start cranking up the bonuses first. All right, so what happens if we just use the normal ramp here? You can see someone's having a concert, apparently. Would hate to trash that. Just kidding. Through the concrete barrier, barrel roll into a drift. I like how the numbers for the drift are just whatever the game really wants to give you. Yeah, give me the big money. Okay, give me the average money. Now the drawn mode part of this. Hold on. I, I actually, hold on, I actually need to do something. Here's what we're doing. We're going straight to space. Are you ready? Oh my god. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, uh, oh, uh, well, <laughs> I don't, uh, did I leave the actual gravitational pull of the planet? Oh, okay, good. Gravity is still working, everyone. <laughs> don't panic. I am absolutely nowhere near the bullseye. And terminal velocity hurts. All right, how, do, how about if we kind of like limp wrist it? Like kind of like this, you know, just, just part of a ramp. It's not really the full ramp. Okay, so now we're gonna jump it and then boost. No. Yes, yes, yes. I missed it by like six inches. Hey! On the plus side, I am still getting distance and that's all that matters. Am I gonna land outside of the Coliseum? Yep. Okay, everything's fine. All we're gonna do is use a little bit less boost. Ready? Here, here we go. Watch this. We're gonna ricochet off the top. There it is! All right, now we do have to do a couple of normal ones here. So I still need to pass this area with the concert. Actually, I kind of want to just land on the sweet rave party that they have going on. Oh, and get a lot of cash from barrel rolling through a bunch of blocks. Oh yeah, the lights are going. Here we go, okay. Lay off, lay off, lay off, and boost. Got it! Oh yeah, beautiful spin, and... Look at that, and the the, <laughs> the wall and I are fantastic friends. All right, let's go ahead and get big money bonuses, big bonuses. And uh, yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll upgrade a little bit of boosts and engines too. All right. Now, as you play, you also get like upgraded cars and the cars get really stupid. So like right now, it's just kind of a cool sports car, right? Yeah, not for long. <laughs> Jump here! Oh, I'm glad they have it marked for me. I, I'm actually kind of surprised that I need this many boosts to do this. The speedometer only goes up to 320 miles an hour. They're gonna have to kick that up a couple notches. Excuse me! Through the wall! Into the barrel roll times two with the $24 drift. I don't even know what that means. It's like a drift on sale or something. Oh, this looks safe. Is that a whole bunch of people just chilling out on a- more to fly? Uh-oh. Oh, God! Okay, don't worry, we're gonna stick this landing. Sticks the, ow, okay, maybe not. 500 meters to unlock the next board. Don't worry, everything's fine. I had forgotten that I get a brand new car and I feel like this car might be slightly faster than the other one. Oh, look at those aerodynamics. Big distance, big speed, couple of flips. Why is there always concrete in the way? Oh, hey, a truck. Barrel roll, 400 meter mark. Oh, I got exactly 400 meters, that's interesting. What a bonus! Oh my god. Uh, 
And you know what, a couple of engine boosts. What gear should we put the car in? Every gear! And there we go. Now you always want to hit walls front forward. I actually got, <laughs> I did, I got less far. I caused more havoc and didn't get as far. Do I have to go all the way up to 20 to make this work? Distance is key. Okay, get over the wall, get over the wall. We're over the wall. Ow. Oh God. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a boom inside and it got in the way I could have had this. Why are there sheep here? <laughs> what? <laughs> Look at how close it is. I love how they're like gray wouldn't harm these sheep. All right, 22. How about that? Is this like a school down here or something? This is very educational, I suppose. Out of the way, sign. Urgh, you can't stop me. Beautiful. Okay, so now on the drawn one, I have to, what is this? I really wanna see if I can like go into the stratosphere, but still man, wow, I actually, I drew straight off the area. Like you're not even supposed to be able to see this part. All right, so if I go straight up, okay. Oh, you have to flap your birds this. We're gonna get it, we're gonna get it, watch. You ready? Ready for this? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> All the money! Because we did that, we're going up in the world. Look at the stack in this car. Bonus, please. Level 48 bonus. Money does everything in this game, so there's kind of like no reason. Wow! There's no reason not to max it out. Big jump. Over the wall. Barrel roll. Oh, oh yeah. Just hopscotching over a couple of the cars. No big deal. Already at 660 meters, just about. How much money will that get you? Hmm, a lot. You know what? I'm just going to, uh, I'm gonna follow my heart. And my heart says, get more of the money boosts. It'll never lead you astray. I also love that I can, if I want to, cook like a grilled cheese sandwich on the hood of my car. Actually makes this car one of my personal favorites right now. Big Drift 154, that was the best drift I ever had. Okay, now that our money is absolutely stacked, we can go up to level 30 on this. This car supposedly is like all weight. That's why it just blasts through the concrete like it's no big deal. Oh, most of my car is gone. So if I complete the mission, but I don't have any car left, is it really a success? I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. We don't need aerodynamics where we're going. I think that we're gonna make this. As long as I stick this landing. Good landing. <gasps> there was a secondary jump! I'm still going! <laughs> this, the area is completely over. Does it count? Because I got past it, but I didn't hit the little, little success wall. It doesn't count, you have to hit the wall! Okay, so I have to, I have to lightly kind of maneuver. Oh, 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 oh no. Ow. Oh God, ow, oh yeah, we're fine, everything's fine. Through the wall! Just caught it with the trunk, and I have one tire left, and it's not actually attached to the car. <laughs> so two things, one, this car is amazing, and two, I really like that that tire just asked for its retirement ahead of time. Okay, so now, okay, so I just have to get between these two things. So can I, can I go up and then just rocket myself downward like this? How about that? Because the car seems to really hug Look at it, look at how it hugs it, it's incredible. Ooh, whoa. And then, easy target. Look, that's a bullseye actually, and through the middle too. Out here in the Alps, no big deal. Beautiful snowy landscape, frigid water. What could possibly go wrong? Man, this car, all it is is a turbine attached to like a car frame. <laughs> I don't know, look at the, the frame actually came off. Now you can see it's just a rocket. <laughs> that's all it really is. I guess that's all you need in a game like this, technically. I have a lot of money saved up. I have a lot more money now. More bonuses. And uh, yeah, do a little bit of boosting as well. All right, now how about if we, how about if we lightly pulse it? Lightly pulse it. Pulse. Oh, oh I'm starting to, starting to make the kind of the car go backward here. Oh, this is, this is working out great. Oh yeah. Oh, it's like, it's like a graceful swan. A graceful, murderous, violent swan, which is technically what all swans are, so it makes sense. All right, let's get this up to, um, four, well, I was gonna say 45, and then my trigger finger there just kept doing a thing. 
So I guess we'll go to 47 or whatever it is. Black ice on the roads? Only a problem if you live in New Jersey. Out here in polygon-laden snowland. Oh no, I actually, I have too much aerodynamics. I never thought I would see the day. Ow. How did I get drift off of that? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna just get over the mountain. Okay. Oh, a little bit more boost. There it is. See that? Look at that. We're just gonna ease it in. Ease it in. Uh. I guess only this part of the car actually has to make it to the end. The other like 80% of the car can just get left behind. This is actually a pretty hard challenge. I want more room to play with. So we're gonna go with 50s now. This is probably overkill for whatever level comes after this. I need to keep my speed up so I can get all this distance. There it is. Oh, we're coming in hot. Come on, down, 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 down. Put out a parachute or something. Deploy. Oh, I think I just have to land in this. Yeah. Ugh. Did it count or do I have to destroy the wall? I guess we're about to find out. Oh, it counted. Uh. This seems kind of violent. I just want to see if I can do this board like to infinity. You know what I mean? Because I'm basically just going to go around and then do the flip and then land back here and then go around. Oh my God, you can. <laughs> yes. I could just do it forever. <laughs> oh, it was only a matter of time. <laughs> okay, so I guess I should seriously try and actually complete this. Like I said, all you do, oh God, there we go. That's, I think this is fine. All you really have to do is just drive straight at the opposition. We have so much boost power now. Uh-oh. Um, oh, it still counted. Okay, very good. My car is literally just a private jet. Not a car. Am I in space? I am totally in space right now. Going straight for the upgrades. First things first. Level 80 bonuses. How can I not get this? D did I just use like a moon rock as a ramp? <gasps> did a satellite! <laughs> oh no, I missed! Oh my god! I'm going through all the different- <laughs> Oh. Oh yeah, it's the moon. So there's- Well, this is a problem. How am I gonna land this? Because it's the moon. So there's no gravity. Ooh. I hit the edge of the board! It actually stops you at 2,400 meters, but it doesn't stop me from going up. <laughs> oh my god. I've got to hit the satellite dish. I've got to hit it. Here we go. Oh, it's perfect. Urgh! My wings got clipped. I'm still flying. Huh. This may actually turn out to be a very fortuitous event. Are you ready? Boost. If I can land this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I need to ricochet off the ground. Uh. Oh, it's like totally armored. Hold on, we're not done yet. <laughs> I, I still got some. <laughs> I still got some boost left. <laughs> it's just a piece of tin foil. That's all that's left of my car. I'm only at 21,000 uh, coins though, so I'm really hoping I get a lot of bonus cash here for all the insanity that I just did. Oh my god. Yep, that's money. I'm actually destroying solar panels just to do this board. Oh. Um. Oh god, hold on. <laughs> it almost hit me in the back. All right, oh yeah. This is nice. This is nice. We're gonna land this. I'm gonna hit that meteor. No, I'm not. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Ricochet. Ricochet. Blech. Ow. How is it still boosting? There's nothing left. Oh, turn, 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 and we can land it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's so hard to do because there's no gravity. Is this a drift, technically? I feel like this is a drift. Well, it counted as a barrel roll. That's odd. I'm just going to keep buying this, honestly. I, I, I have so much money. So we're gonna have to go, I guess I'll have to go over this, but like just barely. Can I get over it just barely? There we go. All right, now, nice and slow. It's like doing the Kessel Run in Star Wars. There it is. Up, up, uh-huh. And sticks the landing. Oh God. This still counts, right? Four, five, six. Oh, keep the money going. Just keep the money going. Keep the money going. Eight, nine, ten. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Ah! It was a chain of ten front flips. Look at the barrel rolls. I love having no gravity. 
This is like the perfect place to make stupid amounts of money just because I wanted to. I took out the wall. <laughs> Don't mind me, I decided I would go back to Earth. <laughs> Do I have to knock down a bunch of dominoes to get at the bullseye? Did they give me a space shuttle? Oh, uh, just make it like a bullet. It's a space shuttle, not a car. <laughs> yeah, okay, so now we've completed the drawing phases. So now we have to complete the other- Look at how many flips I'm doing. So what am I- Where am I at this point? I'm like leaving the actual planet. Look, I'm- I, I have a heat shield on the front of my rocket. Look at how much boost I have left. Think we got it. <laughs> Hold on. Give me those flips. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, five. Okay, five flips. You know what? Sure. I don't know if we're gonna need more boost. So I'm gonna make the engine just become absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Look at the distance. Oh, hold on, maybe I can land this. Maybe I can land this and then keep going. Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh. Yeah! Come on, we're not done yet. We're going into the crowd. <laughs> Uh, now we're going back to the beginning. <laughs> I have so much boost. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> okay, can I actually do this? Uh, ow! Um, well, I still have part of my shuttle left. See it? I just kind of have to, you know, boost correctly during the right time. And as long as my shuttle kind of stays forward, I think I can make this work. Don't really know. Oh no, I'm going backwards now. Oh, hold on. I'm Tokyo drifting. If Tokyo was in space, I literally don't know what's happening in this game anymore. At this point, it's like a tick. <gasps> I didn't know you could make it through the sunroof. Yay. <laughs> okay, so we need to boost, but we don't want to boost too hard. Otherwise we're gonna hit the ceiling. So we have to like perfectly ride this. It's almost like a Flappy Birds thing. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening, super speed, <sighs> got it. With an extra backflip, cause why not? More bonus. So this is a very simple ramp, if you notice. Now normally, I assume you would have to fly through these. So what we can do here is we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, come back Come back down into this. Oh god. Come back down into the stratosphere. And then we're gonna do a nice little controlled bounce, we call that. Okay. Controlled bounce. And then a controlled flip. You know, like five controlled flips. Right into these uh this rock formation over here. Everything's fine. And after the stupidity stops, I get a completely arbitrarily high amount of money. <laughs> Looks kind of like that. Mm. Not really sure I needed more boost but I figure why not at this point. So now it's mostly a matter, we're not really like driving toward the thing. We're actually just trying to re-enter the atmosphere on top of it, okay? You can see it ahead right there, you see it? Re-enter the atmosphere. No, God. Oh no, oh, I've re-entered the atmosphere way too far. This is a problem. I'm gonna go drown now. This board became challenging for all the wrong reasons. I love that without even using the gas, I'm going the maximum speed. Like it doesn't even register. It's like- Yeah, whatever, great, just whatever you want. Got it. Came in a little hot. Mm. I love how at this point, I'm just shooting a rocket toward the problem and the game is just like, you know what? He probably got it. Not sure if I needed all the- Oh my God. Oh my God, no. Ow, fine, we're fine. Everything's fine. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my God. I'm still alive. Never mind. Okay, I've got a plan for this. We're gonna. Oh, we're gonna stay. Ow! We're gonna stay low. I didn't need those wings anyway. As a matter of fact, they were getting in the way. There is a lot of cars that can completely ruin my life right now, like that one. Ow! Oh, God. Nope. Stay on target. Stay on target. I might need an actual car for this instead of a space shuttle. I'm getting a lot of backflips though. Nine. 
Come on, let's get a new personal best. Ah! I can still possibly make this happen! I lied, I can't make this happen. I'm gonna go drown now. Ooh, I went off the board! <laughs> okay, um. Ow. Oh no. I never thought I'd see the day. I had to go back to a normal car. Because you, look at this. Look. Um, hmm. You know, if I could somehow boost this off to the right, I could probably make this happen. But that's not going to work. This is such a delicate balance. Go, 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 go. Don't hit the top. Oh, I hit the top. Um, I mean, we're still in it. How fast are the cars going on this highway? Just keep going. Just go, Gray. It doesn't matter. We're upside down. There's a... Ow. More boost. All right, you gotta fly, Gray. You gotta fly. Fly. Yes, and then fly. And then, ow! Oh, really? You couldn't see the turbine laying in the middle of the road? Oh, wow, I caused a giant pileup. This is just utter, it's just utter chaos. Um, hmm. You know what would be great? If someone could hit me right now. Come on, just kind of straighten out my car. Or not. Boom. People are maniacs. Just. Oh. Oh. Stay on target. Hey, a wall. Okay, first area, then glide. Glide, Gray. Oh my God, I'm gliding. Oh, it's actually working. Okay. Oh, oh no, not too high, not too high, not too high, not too high. Yes, 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 yes. This is happening. This is actually happening right now. Yes. Yes. Ah, uh, hold on, I can still do it. No, oh, it counted. Oh, <laughs> yes. By the way, just because I thought it was important, I'm gonna get that wall. This is the hardest board I've had so far. And I'm not letting the wall be. <laughs> there. <laughs> All right, now I'm still just using a normal car here. This is like a, <gasps> whoa! Oh, uh, I didn't need that frame anyway. Wasn't doing me, oh God. Wasn't doing me any favors. How far are you supposed to go? Look at how insane this entire area is. All right, here's the plan. We're going low. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Not yet, not yet, now! Uh-huh. Oh my god. Oh, oh, this is some Top Gun level stuff. Ah! Oh my god! It's working! Come on, where's the end? 3,000, okay, yeah. Is there a wall or anything? There is! There it is! I can see it in the distance! Jump here it says! Jump here it says! Yes! How can it get how can it get crazier than that? I love that they were like when and whoa! The arrows are pointing up. Okay. I mean I guess I just keep going up or Okay. Yep, the arrows are still pointing up. Okay. Just keep climbing, Gray. I'm sure something will happen here eventually. Uh-huh. It's not you're not really getting any distance, you're just getting vertical. How high is this board? Okay, this is freakishly hard. Um because the problem is my car has so much kick. Okay. So I Oh god. Oh not the spinning! Actually, let's find out where this ends. It's still going, it's still going, it's still going. <gasps> Remember how I asked how it could get any stupider? Well, it found a way. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. To infinity and beyond. Now you don't wanna boost too hard, okay? Gotta, it's like a, it's like a, a, a moderate boosting, if you will. Now while, oh God. Oh no. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh, I probably needed a lot of those parts. Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, 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 giant penguin! Giant penguin! I'm sorry! I don't know if you're endangered or not. Ugh. I'm sorry, Mr. Penguin! <laughs> this is the most ridiculous jump I've ever done. It's not a jump anymore. 
I am now just climbing the heights of the planet. We're going to space. We're going to space. We're going to space. We are going straight to space. I don't care. We're getting this. I don't care what it takes. Okay, so once I see the top here. Oh no, there was a balloon there. You ruined everything. Is there a roof to this? Or can I just, you know, just go infinite? All right. Yep. Can just go infinite. There goes the board. <laughs> oh I had to eventually, you know, stop going infinite. That's always funny when the distance just goes right past what's allowable in the game. Okay. Looking, looking, looking strong. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh, I overshot it. This is unbelievably difficult. All right, I got past the red, white, and blue balloon. <laughs> All right, now light, 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 light. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. We're gonna ease it. We're gonna ease it. Okay, that was probably not the correct definition of easing it. All right, then just lay it on soft. Lay it on soft, Gray. Soft. Yes. Ow. <gasps> Sticks the landing! Yes! 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 What is going on up there? Oh my god. Oh, the penguins are just trashing my ride. What more is there? What more could I have to do? <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Well, this is a this is quite a distance. How are you uh how are you supposed to make this work with like a normal car? <laughs> Where's the end? I don't, I don't see like a landing strip or anything. Captain's log, we have literally flown around the entire planet and I still, <gasps> there it is. Oh no, oh, terminal velocity, work with me, baby. Work with me, throw me at the ground like you mean it. Hard, harder, 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 do it, do it, do it. Oh! Yeah, like a glove. Hold on. I wanted to try and get the wall. I think it's gonna give it to me. Oh, it didn't. That's okay though, because I, I, we gotta get the wall, right? Remember how I wondered what more they could do to us? Well, the fact now that I am jumping over entire continents so that I can land this thing on a tiny shipping transport thing is pretty much something I hadn't really expected. All right, we are aimed up perfectly. See, just keep the nose on there, right there. Look at that. Look at it, it's beautiful. Okay, beautiful ballerina. Oh, the game is starting to glitch out. The game is trying to actually uninstall itself, probably. It's trying to uninstall me. <laughs> Literally me as a human being. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's a couple of shipping containers. You gotta watch out for them. That's what I'm talking about. There's more. This is it. This is the last level. What is that shipping? What does that do? I don't think that's how those boats work. <laughs> so am I supposed to go through that? What is that? Maybe I'm supposed to go through it. I'm gonna try. Oh, whoa. I didn't know it would do it for like a front flip. Ouch. I'm still in this. Oh my God. I have to circumnavigate the entire globe. Here's the plan. I have been saving up just money. And we need like a normal car to have any chance of doing this because I need to be able to squeeze through this stuff, I think. I don't even know how you go about attempting this. Hey, through the sea. There is quite a bit of space. Okay, I, lo I love how all the, the letters and stuff just do like full flips and stuff. Yeah, you're, you're aimed right up for it though. Maybe I have to go over it. Oh, my helmet. Oh no, you have to flappy birds it. All right, here's a plan. I'm gonna try it with the plane. Because we need like, we need like front weight or something. All right, through the sea. Perfect. Okay, now through the O. Beautiful. I, I don't even know how you get through an N. This doesn't make any sense. Oh, the N's get small. Okay, through the G. Oh my God. 
Threw the R. Oh, the R disappeared. Okay. Kind of in the... I lost both of my wings. So oh my god! I lost both of my wings somewhere along the line. Oh, you have to spell out congratulations. Okay, we, we still have plenty of boost. This is still possible. It's stupid. But it's possible. I don't know what I'm going for. Ow! We're fine. We're fine. It's fine. It's fine. I can save this. I can save this. We'll just, we'll do it sideways. We'll do it sideways. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. There we go. Oh, don't you can't too much. L. Yeah. Come on. Come on, A. Don't you, don't you screw this up for me, A. Don't you screw this. Whoa. Okay. L. A. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm like slowly sinking backward is the only problem. T, okay. T, gravity, help my brother out, gravity. Yes. Oh, gravity and I are such good friends right now. Such good friends, okay? That falls over. More gravity, more gravity. Gravity, gravity, please. Yeah, no, oh, yeah. Oh, don't shimmy. Okay. Ed, Ed, what are you doing? It still counts. Uh, don't ask me how. Oh, I can land this. Not the windmill. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Oh. My. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. It happened. <laughs> yes. That's the final level, we did the impossible! Well, I just spelled congratulations with my actual soul. Imagine for a moment you can draw a giant Y and yeet and then utilize that to murder the person next to you and have them skewered on Cloud Strife's sword. That's what Draw Joust is. What you do is you get the start of a vehicle, you go ahead and purchase things like your health and your power. More power! And you go ahead and you draw a beer can that the person is basically sitting on. Then you can see how off balance I made this. I like that at least they gave me this uh, bulldozer plow on the front. All right, Attila the Hun's gonna go flying off the arena. Oh no, my, my <laughs> I was gonna say my car's coming apart. This is fine. This is working out quite good actually. Yay. Hey, I think I just gave him brain damage by rubbing his skull along the ground. Oh, I got a cannon on front now? Oh, I can have a helmet. Let's see here. Better tires, horny helmet, different body. This actually looks a lot like me 25 years ago. Bigger balls. Not like that. You know, like, like the cannon balls. Great. The guy I'm fighting is going to be inside of the left ventricle of a realistic looking heart. Actually, I kind of wonder if he's in the realistic looking heart. Can I be in like the stupid fake heart? Well, I didn't actually have enough juice to get my heart all the way around. I don't know if this car will stick together. I didn't have to do anything. My cannon did it all for me. Okay, anytime I can buy ink, I'm gonna buy ink. Don't ask, I just kind of wanted to draw a sushi roll, so this is what I came up with. The fact that it's holding together so well is blowing my mind. We are going to murder player 2869. Dr. Yeetson, reporting for duty. <laughs> Told you! Oh, and into the water with it! <laughs> ah, we're up against a slice of cheese. Can I get a burger done? It's a burger with half of a bun top. What happens if I don't have anything to sit on? Is that bad or what? I'm gonna back up and then big forward motion. There, say perfect. If I jump into the water myself, do I still win? Oh yeah. I was just going for a swim. It gets hot in Florida, all right? I'm literally up against a produce product. My opponent's name is just Apple. O. J. Oh, I can kind of connect these. I get a little bit more on the J on there, too. Can I just put like a giant thingy coming out of the. <laughs> you absolutely can. Uh, it's a little dangly. Just talking about these vehicles, it just sounds awful. <laughs> now, if you notice. Uh, he's fine. You can see he may have his mouth open as if though I just stabbed him through both of his lungs, but it's on the side of his his chair. He's, he's okay. My opponent's on a Dorito. I'm gonna be on a bigger Dorito. 
Go. Dorito power. <gasps> okay, I had no idea. Doritos are not the superior shape of chip. I don't know, what about like a Pringles? Kind of like, kind of like this shape. There, that's a, that's a perfect Pringle actually. Oh yeah, this, this looks good. Ready? Pringles is the way to go. Okay, so now I have a boss fight. <laughs> Against the sky tower. More power. More! How come it seems like he can draw a lot more than I can? What if I just draw an unhappy face? Can draw that. Hold on. Yeah. Can I get like a little eye? Can get There's one eye. I have enough for one mouthpiece. And then here's the other eye. It doesn't look like an unhappy face. It just looks like a judgmental face. Eh, I'm sure it's fine. Okay, this is not, this is not fair. Guess we're going for the wheels. Urgh. Okay, so far so good. Some money just popped out of them, that's hot. All right, oh yeah, oh, we're, we are prodding the underside of the wiener. <laughs> Whatever this area is. <laughs> it's the most awkward fight in the history of this game. Are you ready? There goes the wheel. Give me your money. Oh, it's delicious. I found a cool way to beat this guy. What, oh, all right, uh, don't mind me, just doing a backflip, no big deal. I found a cool way to beat this guy. There. I can literally just like jump over him. Watch, I can like ramp myself upward. There it is. I almost went flying off the board. I love how my audience is like four people from the high school lunch cafeteria. Come here, there it is. Oh, it's like going fishing. Cast in right where the fish are. All right, I ranked up, so now I got this even better sword. Don't ask. I just wanted to see how this would even work. Okay, so my guy just kind of limply lays down in the middle here. He's gonna go flying off of the vehicle. Oh, I wonder if I can make him jump into the air and win that way. Hold on. <laughs> His spear is literally coming out of my butt. I decided to draw a giant baseball bat. The baseball bat is driving surprisingly well. <laughs> this is so concerning. Get off! Get off my continent! Yeah! Uh, I don't really know what these tires are. They kind of look cooler than mine, though, so I'm gonna buy them. Oh, yeah, that's nice. You're gonna have this helmet, too. Now I look like I'm actually supposed to be here. All right, I'm just going with something simple, just to see if, like... <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe simple wasn't the best idea. Okay, let's, let's put, like, a seat. There we go. And I'll make the McDonald's arches. This is totally gonna work. Extra connection, we're ready to roll. Oh yeah! Oh, now we have true power. True ultimate power! I'm gonna draw a human fist. There we go. There's the wrist, draw a couple knuckles over here. This is perfect. Oh, the human fist works incredibly well. Okay, sweet, I finally get a cannon. All right, connect all that. All right, Dorito into the Pringle. Blast him! Oh, I can just sit back and let this happen. I look at it like a tool from the Iron Chef. This kind of looks like the infinity sign. I feel like an infinity sign would be a pretty good, I'm just gonna make sure that he's roped in here well enough, would be a pretty good object to utilize in battle. And it really looks that way. Oh yeah, the infinity sign is, is the number one thing to do here. I'm actually gonna fall on top of him. All right, I don't know what these are, uh, we're gonna buy, we're gonna buy this spiky one. What is this? Oh, I need a little bit more money. I'm not here to look good, I'm here to stab you. Ready? Come here, come here. There it is. Okay, now I can buy the spiky one. Right there. <gasps> oh! G for gray. A little thingy here so he can sit on something. Unfortunately, it happens to be made of spikes, so it's probably not the most comfortable Z. All right, yeah, you afraid? You afraid of my spiky frame? Even I don't know what this is I'm driving. Come here, my car's gonna eat you. Oh, it tastes so good. It's like chowing down on a Big Mac. Made of humans! Ah! This is the Big Dipper? Don't ask me why I decided to draw a spoon. Although my spoon handle's a little floppy. Spoon's got some good aim though. Yep, there we are. Crack this skull on the ground. I wonder if I can draw an octopus, which next to a squid is like one of my favorite animals. All right, so there's one tentacle, the other tentacle. 
third tentacle. We'll draw another one over here. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. And he kind of ran out of tentacle power, so these other two tentacles are a little stunted in their growth. It's what happens when you miss tentacle day. All right, tentacle vehicle versus just a big piece of flatbread. Let's do this. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're doing all right. We're, we're kind of working up the front of that, that vehicle a little bit. Kind of have to, yeah, kind of have to go from the up to the down, like so. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got, we got him flipped over. All right, and I don't want to kill him yet. I really want to spear him. There it is! Yeah, you like eating octopus? Well, guess what? In Florida, octopus eats you. Oh, I get two weapons now. Okay. Kind of want to draw. I wonder if I can get the mouth of the alligator. Kind of like that. It's kind of like a mouth. This thing is so awkward, but it drives so well. Oh, don't die. I don't want you to die. I want to stab you. Real meaty. All right, her protection is gone. There it is. Triple cannon against a teleboss. What is this? It's basically just like a cell tower. I don't know, more health, I guess. More power. I'm just drawing like a triple layer cake. You'll, you'll understand it. All right, well, it's a double layer cake. I ran out of layers. Oh, oh, it's awful. Okay, you can get, I don't think you can get subscribe. You could definitely get sub. Actually, you know what? That's all we need. I've got some ink left over. I don't even think we're gonna need it. Subscribe versus giant cancerous growth. Go. <gasps> oh, wow. Doing the giant F for Florida. There it is. Gotta connect all these wheels. All right, now I think that this is probably like super heavy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this extra thing that kind of connects to the back wheel from the top of Florida so that it doesn't just limply fall to the ground. Yeah, see how it holds it up a little bit more? Yeah, this is working. <laughs> it, it looks awful, but it's totally working. I told you. <laughs> that is not where you want the giant sword to be at. I want these spiked tires. A few seconds later. I told you I would get these tires. We go with a backwards P, right like that. In fact, I'll make my P slightly wider. <laughs> The bottom. Now it just looks like a mushroom. Oh, whatever. Urgh. How do you like my spiky tires going up your rectum? Does it feel good? Uh-oh. Oh, there it is. Yep, right up the butt. In fact, that's how I'm going to try and kill everyone from now on. So, like, for this, we're going to want, like, this, but then it kind of drops down. Okay, connect these two. And then, honestly, you could just do this to give yourself, like, a bunch of barriers. See that right there? And now, all right, now shove them upward. Now look at this, look, 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 we're hunting for it. Oh no, don't fall on your head! Get up! Bunch of scribbles, that's all I need. There, wait for it, wait for it, okay. And there, he's upside down. Now let's work this in, right there. Well, the, the sword's so big that I kind of got everything from the belly button down. This guy has a bulldozer, but I think I could just build my own, right? Like I could just go like this, all right, there's my there's my my shovel thingy. I go like this. I do have to connect that and then kind of come down into a coat hanger maneuver here. Yeah, this should work. So he has a bulldozer. I have a bulldozer. Look, it's working out perfect. Come here. Your wheels are really cool. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want those. But first, oh come on, let me let me get my little prod up there. Like an alien, I need to probe you. <laughs> what I'm gonna try is just like the, uh, that one fish that kind of hangs its little tentacle down over here. Do that, and then build a little bit of this right here. There. I think this is all it really needs, because I can whip f Oh no! Oh, this turned out to be way worse than I previously anticipated. My wheels are not working super well right now. Oh god! Oh, my wheels are actually coming off my vehicle! No! I have no wheels left. Come on, roll. Roll, we can still win this. Don't you ever give up, Dr. Yeatson. You, you, you took out like $400,000 in medical loans specifically for this reason. Okay, this is a terrible idea. I love that when I did poorly, it gave me a cannon to compensate. I feel like a dollar bill sign, like this. See, and then you got the other dollar sign right here. I feel like this is a really strong shape. Oh, oh yeah. Uh-huh, I think he may have stabbed himself with his own sword. He's like, I don't want to be a part of this fight anymore. <laughs> I have no engineering skill, and I think that's what makes me so deadly in this game. My opponents never think that I'm going to draw something so stupid. I'm kind of curious, if I don't... If I don't at all touch the guy, and I just draw, like, a banana, so that he can kind of rest inside of my glorious banana, like that right there, can I still win like this? So there's nothing really holding him into this vehicle at all. He's just gonna fly around and try and murder- Oh, oh, I have to catch him, though. 
I can't, I can't let him, I can't let him fly out like completely. Okay. I can't believe how well I'm doing. Ah! Ah! I got a taste of my own medicine and it tastes like magnesium. How high can I go? Oh, I can get pretty high. Oh, can I connect this? Oh no, the two wheels are not connected. Oh God. Oh, I think it still counts as connected though. <laughs> Look at how. <laughs> I drew a K. My car is holding my weapon for me. Look at it. It's like, come on forward. I have something for you. Oh. Oh, my wheel just did the work of the gods over there. My wheel almost murdered that guy on its own. I'm going to try and win like. I'm going to try and win with this battle axe going up my rectum. Here's a fish bowl. I'm going to sit on these two balls here. See, if I just yeet them off the side, that works. What if I draw like one ball? And then like a second ball. Like, how's the double ball formation? This looks pretty strong. So far, the infinity sign is probably the best shape, I would say. The double ball formation is close and is pretty decent. Boss fight with Cherry. <laughs> what a name. I bought a bunch more ink just for this day. Can I finally get the yeet in? Y. E. Come on, baby. Come on, you can do it. E. Oh, it's it's happening. This is this is 100 happening. T. Oh, I'm so close. We'll never give up until we have the. Oh. <laughs> we'll never give up until we have the yeet on our side. I don't have a. Oh, I do have a weapon. Thank God. Come on, yeet. Just this one time. I need your help here. Okay, this this e has to be really tall. This is kind of going to be a derpy yeet. But that's fine. That's how the yeets are made. Okay. This looks awful. My car is kind of in three different pieces, but the yeet exists. And that's all that matters. You can't beat the power of the yeet. You can't beat the power of the yeet. I will whip this yeet on top of you violently. You ready? Watch this. Come here. Get yeeted. I want you to taste it. Taste the yeet. It's like a ham and Swiss sandwich. Ah! There, finally, I can get the full unhappy face. And the unhappy face, I just threw my battle axe at him. I didn't even have it connected. That was incredible. What is this? Looks like a Valentine's Day box coming alive to kill me. The time has come for the most powerful shape in the whole world. And I finally have enough ink to do this. Maybe saying, Great. What could that possibly be? It's the state of Florida. We don't need hearts where we're going. Come on, Florida. Yeah. Yeah. All right, part of the Florida starting to wash away. This is a realistic problem we have here. Uh, I am slowly giving this guy a lobotomy, though. Like, the lobotomy is incoming. Come here. We're having a half off sale. As in half off your brain matter. Let my blade taste your flesh. Oh, his sword fell. Oh, his sword's coming back with a vengeance. There it is. As you can see, the entire purpose of zombie destruction annihilation is to ruin as many skeletal structures as possible so that you can gain more money in order to get more upgrades. With your upgrades, you can get all of these different vehicles. And for some reason, the second to most powerful vehicle is a school bus. <laughs> ah, yes. The proper type of education. Anguish. I love that one of the upgrades besides, I don't know, like, you know, getting some nitro or some better gas mileage is just a gun. <laughs> Where does the gun even go? Am I just holding it in one of my hands and just now and again I go ahead and shoot stuff? I'm gonna get the last tires. Do the tires get bigger? They absolutely do. Oh yeah, I can fit many more skulls in these tires now. Yep, you just, he, he just mows them down. Just flat out mows the zombies down with a random gun that he's installed onto the handlebars. It's basically like it's sitting there with a bunch of duct tape. I don't even know what is keeping it there. Oh, hey, level complete. And with your completion of a level, you get a brand new car. Okay. Ah, yes. Part of the way to Florida. Level two, Zombie Hill. This is like where I went to elementary school. I'm not gonna lie. One of the most powerful things I found on the previous vehicle was the gun, but I don't have enough money. It's all right. I guess, I guess I'll spend it on an engine and some better tread, all right? How good is this vehicle? Uh, okay. Feels okay. Uh, okay, now the- now the zombies are just rigging explosives 
I don't know how they got the knowledge to begin building bombs, but whatever. Better gas. Oh yeah, I've got a quarter of a tank of anguish now. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, you can kind of pop a wheelie and kill people that way if you really want to. Yeah, yeah, I love I love just eating them like the cookie monster. Except instead of cookies, I dine on flesh. Get a lot of money very quickly, I've noticed. I'm gonna go ahead and save up for the gun because the gun is amazing. Gobble, gobble, little zombies. Blah, 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 blah. Not really sure where that explosion came from. It's a random explosion. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy it's there. I just don't know what caused it. Give me my gun. You get a bigger gun, the more money you throw into it. You know what, give me more tread too. I love how the very first gun that you can purchase from like, you know, Zombie Destroyer Mart, it looks like an entire light machine gun. Just bolted onto the steering wheel. I don't know if that's the safest place to put it. More gas. Am I like half a tank yet at least? Uh, yeah, okay, half tank, I love it. Oh, the cool thing about the gun is the gun doesn't just mow down the zombies, it blows up the TNT as well, which clears a large area so you can get a lot more speed and distance. Like, we're getting way further than we were before. We should get like a thousand dollars here. Yep, 990. Three hours later. I've stacked up a bunch of money. I'm very curious if the gun gets bigger. I'm on level three gun now. So far, it's just kind of looking the same. It's like I'm getting more and more bullets, though. I'm not gonna lie. This car is getting pretty stacked. I've got 45 bullets and absolutely nothing to use them on because very little is left alive in this world due to you zombies murdering all of my friends and the wildlife. Why in God's name did you have to drink the blood of Spleens the cat? There was no reason for- Okay, big jump. And a big jump! Uh-huh, yeah, just keep boosting it. We may get pretty close to the end here. Ugh. Had to get that last gunshot in. <laughs> 2200 per run now. I want to get to the next vehicle. Oh my God. I want to get to the next vehicle. So I've been mostly just upgrading the engine on this thing. And uh, it, go <laughs> it goes pretty fast. Yeet it. Might as well use the boost there. <laughs> oh my god, this thing's gonna end up flipping over on itself. We're 100% gonna get to the end here. I might not even need to use the rest of the gas. Yay, we got the mystery machine now. We're getting like $3,000 per run. Welcome to Climberville. I love how the very first thing you see is a guy getting bisected by the mystery machine with his bones showing. I mean, we got a lot of money to upgrade stuff, so I might as well just start throwing it at everything. There we go. And yep, give me some better tires. All right, all right, how does this thing do? Starts off with 20 bullets now. Pretty decent jump. I love the air the mystery machine gets. It doesn't really look like it should. I love how it's the peace symbol on the front, but we're not bringing peace to any of the populace. We're just literally murdering everything we come across. I think it's fantastic gas mileage too. We're already halfway through the board. We barely have any upgrades. All right, 1900 first shot. All right, I've been stacking this thing up with some upgrades. I've got 60 bullets sitting in my gun right now and this thing can jump halfway to Mars at this point. You can see the bodies just flying into the TNT. Destruction reigns supreme. Are you ready no. for- <laughs> I was gonna say a big jump and then I just- and then I just smash my chiclets right into a bridge. All right, we're on E, but it's gonna be fine. Never mind. I'm gonna do a full flip. No big deal. Go ahead and nail the boost here. All right, I don't think that we can make it yet, but with a couple more upgrades, we're definitely there. And we're getting a ton of money. More gas is definitely gonna do it. There's an odd skill to this game. If you can land as flat as possible, you can save a ton of gas, which is absolutely not what I just did just then. <laughs> what I'm trying to say though, is if you keep your speed, you do these awesome jumps and then it get, helps you get to the next level. So now it's America time. All right, we're gonna start with the basics over here. America, America sounds like it has the engine to win. Oh, are there zombies growing? <laughs> what is going on? How come the zombies are like 10 feet tall now? What are these zombies eating? Ah, yes, a healthy diet of Wendy's chili and steroids. All right, I've been trucking along. The pun is absolutely intended. And I love how, God, I love how eventually you upgrade the engine to the point 
where the truck doesn't drive on the ground anymore. It just flies. Don't mind me doing a full flip while also on fire. My truck spends a lot of time on fire. I don't exactly know why. Oh, there's a uh, TNT just raining from the sky. That's bad. Okay, I've got I've to land these a lot cleaner because if I end up smashing into Saturn over there, like leaving the stratosphere as I've been doing, I end up hitting the top of the board and then it ricochets me down where it hurts a lot. The, thing, the other thing that's weird about the game is if you screw up, at the top, it keeps your screwed up run, so it doesn't even like let you remember what your best run has been. <laughs> Game's not about making you feel good, it's re about reminding you how you failed. Oh my god! I have no idea what happened just then. I'm running on E over here, I've got eight bullets left and I hope I can make it to the end. I don't think I will, but I will get a lot of money. I'm kind of curious exactly where I'm getting this gas from. Like, am I just turning the blood of my enemies into fuel or like, what is going on? I don't mind, mind you, I, I have no idea how many miles to the gallon blood gets you, but it's quite a bit, oh my God. 100 per, 100% we're getting there. Don't mind me, that was just kind of a random backflip I decided to do. You know, for extra style points. Oh my god! I missed a bunch of zombies because I flipped over them. I felt I feel kind of bad. I I feel like the entire purpose of my existence is to mow down zombies. So when I miss them, I feel like I'm kind of not doing my job. Duke's a hazard time. I don't know if this dude is trying to high five this guy or if he's flying over the stack or what. I think sounds like a weed whacker. Why are there a bunch of shipping contain- Oh my God, my tire. Why are there a bunch of shipping containers just chilling out overhead? I'm kind of concerned because I feel like they exist to kill me. I feel like the zombies are getting thicker too. Like grossly overweight zombies right now. We're not gonna have to worry about them eating any humans. They're not gonna be able to move soon. The upgrades are flowing. I've got a lot of bullets and not a lot of patience. You know what? Full flip. Why not? Let's run this. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Hey ho! Not really sure what's up here. I'm not. Sh <laughs> I don't think I ever managed to jump up there yet. Don't mind me. Just shooting through my own supercharger, as most people do. Oh my god! I didn't. Know I don't know if that's a pathway out of the board or what. <laughs> It's like a 90 degree angle upward. Who built this world? Are we like underground or what's going on? This is like a planet from Interstellar. Am I even still on Earth at this point? Oh, you guys are getting very elaborate in how you build your zombie houses. Honestly, the housing economy right now with the zombies in charge is doing better than with the humans. We. We may want to just get eaten. What? Maybe better that way. I think I might be upgrading my guns a little too far because I still have 30 bullets left. Never mind. I used a lot of bullets at the end. The ice cream truck. You can get a lot of money very quickly on this board. As you can see, I have upgraded my ice cream truck. I also found that the real key to this game isn't to spend all your money. You want to save a bunch so that when you unlock the next car, you can already get it almost to the end of the board so you can start getting like 20 grand per run. I love that the gun on the ice cream truck is just chilling out right next to the ice cream cone. That's right, zombies. Refreshing bullets for everyone. What flavor bullets do you like? Do you like chocolate? Neapolitan flavored 762. <laughs> And uh, yeah, the upgrades definitely got me to the end. We've unlocked a taxi. I feel like we're going back in time right now. Again, just start unlocking, man. Get as many unlocks as you can so you can get close to the end. Okay, now unfortunately some of you zombies are just straight up too big to go into the taxi. That's why I'm shooting you. It's not because I dislike you zombies, it's just because I don't want a bad Yelp review. My Uber needs to stay at 5.0, so everyone who is not prepared to give me that must die. This is a very, very linear board. It's like a lot of jumps and that's basically it. Turbo boost! Ugh. Why are the zombies on fire now randomly? Just random fire zombies chilling out. That was not a lot of upgrades and we got halfway. So we're gonna get like 8,000 with that run. All right, I've saved up even more money for the next vehicle. And I gotta tell you, 
This, this particular board is pretty amazing because once you get going with speed, you just start jumping over half the board. So you're riding around, things are looking good, and then pretty soon you can see my character's head has just evaporated. He is just head banging into the sunset because the jumps that you can do at this point are simply unreal. Hey, yo. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! <laughs> oh my god! Here we go! I have no idea when I'm gonna land this. There we go. Landed right on a human being. The very best pillow a person could ask for. <laughs> oh my god. I haven't even used any of the uh, boost at this point. It's just been normal gas right now, and I think we're gonna clear this pretty easy. Come in with like a uh, 150 grand to spend in the next board. And there we come on, baby. There it is. A bigger, oh, it's the Bigfoot truck. Oh, yeah. Those tires look like they could chew on some souls. Oh, oh, then now the zombies are running from me. This is awesome. <laughs> uh, I hope they're zombies. Like, I'm calling them zombies because that's what the game is telling me. It would be really sad if suddenly, like, there are no zombies, but I don't know how to live anymore. So now anything I see, I just run over. Look, I've been running people over for a lot of states. I have no other way to exist. Don't hate me. I was getting way over 20 grand per because all of the different boxes are added up into the destruction score. And this entire board is just a Home Depot smorgasbord. This is an Armageddon for wooden boxes. I don't know what wooden boxes did to defile my family, but I am out here just crushing every wooden box there is. I am swimming on wooden boxes at this point. Oh my God! Well, they are legitimately just trying to stop me with boxes at this point. Just, yeah, throw as many wooden boxes as you can at them. You know all the box forts that are on YouTube? This is, this is where they all came to die. How much money do you get for clearing this board? It's gonna be like 34 grand. Uh-huh. The only thing I can hope is that there is, there's as many boxes in this board as there was in the last board. This is called top secret. Okay, well, there's a lot of fire. I don't really know why everything is so flammable around here. <laughs> Wonderful. I don't know if it is, game. Now the zombies are inside of watchtowers. They have truly, the zombies have entered like the medieval age. They're gonna have entire towns just situated to defend against the onslaught of the gray still play stupidity machine. Also this view, oh my God, hey ho. All right, there we go, sticks to landing. This vehicle is incredible at punching through boxes. If you can grab this vehicle, and play the other level in it, that would be fantastic. It's really good at shaving people in half too, like that. Random fire, excellent. I love how boxes weren't doing the job, so now they're just kind of shoving TNT all over the place. It's just TNT everywhere. I feel like I get a lot of extra gas power all the way at the end of the empty tank too. So yeah, the next set of upgrades, I would definitely be able to do this, but we're only getting about 23,000 or so. So I'm gonna upgrade this a little bit more. All right, I've got quite a bit of money saved up from repeated runs and a lifetime of anguish to dole out. This is normal, everyone. Don't mind me. I'll land this eventually. There you go. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think that this vehicle would be able to fly so well. It absolutely does. And I still have a quarter of a tank left as we get to the end. We're getting about 30 grand per run on that. And I have unlocked the school bus. This is just called bang. The zombies on the front of the bus go thud, thud, thud. All right, let's get a nice zombie blood paint job. Who here likes education? Are those zombies in the back of the bus? Or did I hire some people to sit back there because I've had no friends this whole run? I'm kind of concerned. Because, it, I mean, it would be, I guess, funnier if I had just lassoed a bunch of zombies and put them in the back of the school bus to pretend to be students. We are doing fantastic for our first run on this. 
The bus is just awesome. There is so much weight behind the power of education! <laughs> the only thing I will say about the bus is it's very difficult to write to get it going straight again. Like, oh my god. And the top speed of this thing is pretty absurd for a school bus, too. The bus is getting over 33 grand per run right now. I think I got enough upgrades to get this thing to where I need to go. I guess we'll find out after I shoot everyone in my way. Ah, yes. A classic ritual of blasting the non-believers with the gun that is mounted on whatever vehicle I happen to be driving that day. I don't even know where I get all these cars from. Oh, Oh my god. Oh, hey! Awesome. I'm pretty- I don't even know what ha that zombie was flying. Like, the zombies aren't even hitting the bus at a normal, uh, level. They're kind of, like, already in the air when they hit the bus. I don't even know how that happens. Are you ready? Oh god. Ow. All right, we still got over a quarter of a tank. We should be fine. Full flip, no big deal. I am causing a lot of destruction. I'll tell you that right now. Nope. Oof. Hopefully there's not a big incline here. There was totally a big incline there. Oh my God, I just went around. All right, how good is this thing at climbing this? Oh yeah. Woo, that was, uh, that was close. It was very possible that the bus was not going to make that hill. But since it did, I'm gonna go ahead and fly over some of the different explosives. And I think we're gonna be able to pull this one to the end of the board. Come on, baby. It's on red, I don't care. Red, red means blood. The gas tank's beeping at me. I still got my turbo if I need it. There we go. And now we've unlocked the thresher, the harvester, whatever this is. This doesn't even have an emblem. It's just a question mark. This thing needs stacked tires. I've already decided it. And more firepower, I guess. All right. Let's see how we start with these upgrades. All right. How fast is this thing? It shouldn't. I love it. It has the anarchy symbol on it. Oh, my God. Woo. Oh, hey. Everyone eat your Wheaties. Don't mind me, just popping a wheelie in the John Deere over here. This thing is the most unwieldy vehicle in the game. It flips backwards. You don't even understand. Like, I barely... God! I barely press back, and this thing just wants to do a flip like it's at the community pool or something. I love how the thresher isn't even on the ground or whatever this thing is. <laughs> The grain harvester over here. Look, I'm not much of a farmer. The only thing I farm is the souls of the zombies. Well, we're quite easily going to get halfway there. That's for certain. I love how he mounted the gun on the highest point on this thing. I don't even know if technically it can shoot anything. I also found the best way to use the boost. It's definitely like pulse it. I'm pretty sure this is not how a vehicle works. All right. I went ahead and did it. We might as well have every upgrade we can get. Let's do this. Everyone out of the way. It's God. It's threshing time. Although uh, the thresher never gets to do anything because the gun has so many bullets that I never really run out of ammo. I mean, maybe it will toward the end or something. The front of this thing is also just adding to the wind resistance. I feel like this is going a lot faster than 100 miles an hour. Oh my God. I can't even write this thing when it starts to flip like that. Things like a fish out of water, like an angry dolphin of destiny. More TNT, full flip, sticks the landing, uh-huh. Yes, build all of your various shrines of boxes. They're not going to save you. Ah! Whoa! Hey! Okay. That was a controlled fall. Uh, we still have over... Ouch. We still have over half a tank of gas. So I get... What in God's name is this thing doing? I was going to say, I have a feeling as long as I don't sink backward that we're very easily going to remove the rest of zombie kind God, from the planet. Can I get less anarchy on this thing? Because the anarchy constantly wants, <laughs> wants to do flips. 
I just want to go forward, for God's sakes. Any little ramp just sends me into the stratosphere. And there's no controlling this thing at all. You can't do anything to pull this thing back onto a straight plane. But that's fine, because with 111 shots, we have a winner. Now, in car drawing game, what you have to do is get from point A to point B by drawing a little car. Now your car can be almost anything. It could be a simple U like this. Or if you really want, you could draw a half-eaten donut like this. It'll put some wheels in a totally random spot that it thinks they should go and then you fail and then the game yells at you for it. That's fine though. How about if we draw, can I have like a full stick figure? Just like a regular stick figure. So like there's the body. See, so he's got his arms in the air. I'm gonna give him a little gun right there because why not? And then a neck and a head. Now, where would it put the, the tires here? Oh, I get one tire by my foot and one tire by my skull. That's interesting. What if I what if I draw like a dead stick figure? Like a guy who's just on the ground like this. Where where would it put the tires here? Here's like a little arm over here. And like, here's this arm's broken kind of this way. It put the tires up here. How about the word yeet? I need to know what a mobile yeet would look like. Let's put that there. Oh, this is a fantastic yeet. I still have 45 ink percentages left and a T. There we go. Not quite where I would have put the tires. All right, so if you just make a U, what happens? Okay, so the U, it puts the tires in the legitimate spot and the full jump, and we have a success for the silver medal. Only took me five attempts, the seesaw. Okay, so what's the, oh, I messed that up. Okay, well now my tires are connected to my tires are flipping out. Oh my god. Apparently just making one single line is the way to go. Am I gonna complete this by doing absolutely nothing? You gotta be kidding me. I got a gold by messing up. <laughs> Gray takes all this time to draw something amazing. If I draw like a Pac-Man head. How about that? It's really bloated. But I gave him the eyes! <laughs> How about a shotgun? Where would you put the tires on a shotgun? There we go. That's a really good shotgun. Oh, the tires are kind of in a way that where it where it pushes the shotgun. What if I what if I like do this? Okay, so there's legitimate tire areas and then there's a shotgun over here. What happens then? This is more like a more like a shockwave shotgun. How about an unhappy face? Wow, I might legitimately have to work hard on this. Really do stuff. What am I what am I riding on top of? Was that a was that a human head? I'm not really sure what that was. Oh, I'm being dragged down to my death. Hold on, could you can you do like can you do like this? Oh, you absolutely can. There is no limitation to how stupid you can make your car. Oh, I got the little little golden thing up here, and now my car is flipping out. <laughs> All right, so we can still do this. I just need to make the car much lower. This is like the Lamborghini of cars now. Look at it. It's it's very sporty, and it'll bounce up, get the boost, and then go completely in the opposite direction of the direction I need it to go. And there we go. Oh, we're completing this. Uh, or not. Maybe we'll just do this. We'll we'll do this forever. It'll just go back and forth for eternity. Never ending. Here's a slice of bacon. Here's a slice of bacon, but the wave is on the other side now. Uh, how about a toilet bowl? Here we go. Kind of put the lid right here. How's that? No. What if you just draw like a spiral? Just like a random spiral. How about a line? One single line. How come the lines are always the most powerful thing in this game? Look at the line. It almost got there. How about a bigger line? Oh, this line is not messing around. It, that line legitimately crossed the finish line. <laughs> Look at the face. Plastic. That's that's what I got. I didn't get bronze. I didn't get silver. I didn't get gold. I got plastic. The cogwheel. Okay, so it wants me to draw this. Can I draw something that climbs? Because this looks very simplistic. I mean, it looks really easy. Oh, it just, it, the cog helps it win. It just kind of pushes it over. That's boring. What if I draw like a circle and then it's got like a, like a, like a badminton shuttlecock. There we go. I don't know why it loves putting the tire up here. Okay, I decided to draw a stick figure with no arms. So like his arms have been amputated and this one goes pretty good. It gets about halfway there. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this, this kind of simple design that the game wants me to use just to see what it does. It kind of feels like I'm being, like I'm flipping backwards. Now it feels like I'm falling to my death. All right, how about a, how about a bigger one? Like maybe like that. Is that good enough? Will the, will the cog love me this time? Because it, it is basically the, the 
The difference between living and dying. Oh, it, it really enjoyed that. Bronze. Nice. I don't think it is nice. What is my result? That's wild. Oh. Now we're starting to get weird. How about if I draw a sideways C? Does it do anything? It's kind of it's a little bit too... It looks like a tumor. It's too weighty on this side. What if I draw it like this? Oh, that is... That is a human skull. That is a mobile human skull. Out of the way, block. Oh, I can fly. I got a diamond level. Hard box. I'm gonna draw a Dorito there. Put both tires on one side of the Dorito. My Dorito is flipping out like a lot. Oh, my Dorito is doing full flips. All right, how about, a, how about a more equidistant Dorito? Oh, there we go. The tires are not in probably the place I would have put them. The Dorito is moving. The Dorito mobile over here is charging forward. The Dorito mobile has stopped. It is now stuck. What if you draw the tiniest little Dorito? Like this. Where do the wheels go? The wheels just take up the entire chassis. You can't even see anything. Big jump, backwards ramp. Oh, hey. Yeah. Okay, so now I have to push over a plank. I don't care what it takes. I want my Dorito to work. Oh. Oh, if I put a little opening, then I can force it to put the tires there. I got it. Okay, my Dor my Dorito can legitimately work now. So what we're gonna do, watch this. We're gonna put this up here, and then we're gonna put an opening right here. I have to do it in one shot, though. So here, 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 here. Boom. There it is. Fully mobile Dorito. Harvick. This is what I always wanted. My Dorito is stuck. Wait, my Dorito is leaning. Oh, my Dorito's stuck again. How did this happen? Right, I, I, need a, I need a slightly smaller Dorito. There. Go. Pop the wheelie. Full flip on the Dorito. Full flip again. The Dorito's doing it. It's totally going to do it. Nope, never mind. It's going to get backhanded down. <laughs> or is it? My Dorito knows. Failure is not an option. Look at what it's doing. It is really trying. Like, it will not give up. Oh my god. Oh, let this happen. No, 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 no. Don't fall down. Don't fall down. No. Okay, so this means I can draw a hot dog. I can just, I just have to put the wheels here. There we go. Oh, the hot dog mobile is running it. Here we go. Yeah, stab the plank, then climb the plank. Okay, my hot dog may have to be slightly less lengthy. There's a, there's like a cocktail hot dog there. Looks more like a cannon now that I think about it. Whatever. I mean, it's working okay. And then slap me forward just like that. Yeah, that's how I like it. Jump the, yes! Jump the whole bronze! Now, I do have to mention, eventually it gets to the point where you're just making like sperm. <laughs> See, right now the cars look somewhat legitimate. Ooh, now in fact, I think I can I, I think I can build the giant Dorito. Here we go. Yes. Roll. Roll faster. Oh, I need to keep. Oh, whoa. Okay, so it had to keep its balance on all this, but it worked really well. On the hook. So would I kind of do like this and then do something like this? Well, that doesn't that doesn't catch it. How about if I start here and then go like this? Well, that doesn't do it either. But like this. Okay, that 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 kind of works. So now I now I'm starting to understand where you gotta put the, the different things at. Alright, so if I go way up high like this and I draw a human hand. <laughs> oh, that is the that is like the Okay, it's you know, just just pretend that that would be a human hand. It kind of looks more like the Loch Ness monster. Oh, the Loch Ness monster's legit. The Loch Ness monster's legit. Oh, it's doing the Loch Ness monster's doing the full backflip. That was not supposed to happen. Hey, got a boost there out of nowhere, and now he's gonna fall into the pit of de of despair. I basically drew an elf hat. That's kind of what it looks like, or like a garden gnome hat. Oh, oh wow. Oh, I didn't know it could catch like that. That's kind of cool. And I float. Through and a diamond. Hold on, I'm just. I had to. I had to draw an Among Us character. The only problem is the little mask is really heavy on this side. All right, it's an Among Us character, but they're also pregnant. What? That's working really good. Oh, pregnant Among Us character. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now I, I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to draw here, but I think I think I understand how this works. I think the beginning. Okay, so the beginning is where you get your tire, and wherever you end, that's where you get your last tire. So, if I start here, okay, watch this now, and then I go here, and then we can make the full seat. Here we go, and we have the stick figure on the toilet. Like this, there's a little head. We give him some arms. He'll have a little newspaper. There we go. Then the back of the toilet, and then it comes down, and then it goes right here. Now I think it'll put the two wheels there. Oh yeah. Oh, this is perfect. I just need more weight on the front. I'll draw both of his legs. 
You may be asking yourself, Gray, what is he doing? Listen, he's turned his toilet into a race car. That, that is effectively what has happened right now. There. See, if you give the toilet a little bit of like a backwards limb. Oh, you have to beat this thing somehow, huh? So he has to ride it. If I draw a stick figure leg and then this, and then the stick figure is like slam dunking a basketball. There we go. There, his other arm is kind of up in the air. He's congratulating himself. There's the other leg. Here we go. Stick figure, basketball, slam. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I just realized something. I've been like giving this way too much effort. Like a line probably would do it. As a matter of fact, now I can actually draw my shotgun now that I know what I'm drawing. Trigger guard. There, and the other wheel can go over here. It's a kind of, it's kind of a janky shotgun, but it's there. Push through it. How many horsepower does this thing need? How about a tiny pentagram? How about one single dot? Why do I feel like one single dot is almost always the way to go here? How about a bigger line? How about that? How about a line with a little bar on the side? And now hopefully it'll push it like this. Ah, oh, it's deformed Squidward's head. There's his nose. I just had to get my line the right size and it got pushed through. Great, now I have to go through two cogs. Well, it's gonna be a line again. There's no other way to go through it. The cog, look at how, look at this. Ouch. Or, well, I could make it like, like this, right? There we go. Kind of jagged. This way the cogs catch on the jaggedness and bring it through. Oh, the cogs can't eat it. Maybe just an even smaller line. How about that? My lines have a tendency to completely flip out, like literally flip out. It took some doing, but uh, I think that's the magic line size, silver. The Mystic Bridge. Been a long time since I drew the bikini stick girl. Okay, maybe a little top heavy. See, if I give her a sweet hairdo, it'll provide a lot of weight out the back over there. This is, this is a very cursed stick girl, okay? Very, very cursed. She is now doing this on her face. Don't give up, cursed stick girl. I want to just draw the biggest, most ridiculous thing I can. Just to see what it does. Well, it bounces, that's for sure. My god. I messed this up and ended up drawing both tires on the same side. If this thing completes this board, I'm gonna flip out. It almost- wait a minute. It almost did. What if I put the tires kind of in the middle? The only problem is it keeps hitting this square right here, which is- in, it's not movable. I knew the double line. Oh, that's the closest I've gotten. How about if I draw it more like this? So it looks kind of like a garden steak. How about that? Can it kind of, can it fit through here? I need it to be flatter. How about like that? Oh yeah, now it's, now it's a really depressed garden steak. Still hit that thing there. Launch it, launch it, launch it. Go, 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 no! I'm eventually gonna draw this thing so long that it's gonna go across the entire board. It is right there. What? Are you kidding me? Okay, how about this? <laughs> it doesn't really do anything. It just kind of, it just kind of flexes its way. Ah! All right, how about, and then a little lip on the top there. There, there. Now it has a lip, so now it can't catch on anything. It's like the spoon of destiny. Go, my beautiful spoon of destiny. Oh, you're the chosen one. You're doing it. Y yes! Wow, that was Dragon jaw? You're gonna make me hate myself, aren't you? What is this? Well, if it's a dragon jaw, kind of my my own giant dragon mouth over here. It's kind of like the claw. Uh-oh. I think I'm gonna get stuck in the middle. I can, this might actually work, but I need to draw it shorter. Like here, and then, you know, a bunch of jagged teeth like this, a bunch of jagged teeth this way, and then end like right there. There it is. Kind of like my dragon just hasn't been to the dentist in 30 years. That's all it is. Can he climb though? Well, it doesn't really climb that good. All right, now my now my dragon has gingivitis. Okay, he's lost all of his teeth. Well, I have to bounce and probably get this somehow. How about if it's really low like this? Like really pop that front end up. Oh, that's perfect. Come on, get that tire down. Okay, so that, but just a lot smaller. Oh, it climbs legit. Oh, I'm burning out. My tires. Smell the rubber, Michelin. No, you failed me. How about a Tootsie Roll? How about that? Could also be like a bow tie, I guess. I really don't know. Well, the Tootsie Roll is uh, probably got the furthest I've gotten so far. There. I, I want to try and use up almost all of my ink, but not quite. Jeez. This freakish, just rejective nature got the farthest. Okay, now trust me on this. We're gonna have, there's the first leg. Here we have the giant stick figure girl. 
So what you do, you draw the very first stick figure, right? He, he's so big that he has like legitimate large lines. Stick figure head, stick figure arm. And now he is sitting on a collapsing house, a much smaller stick figure inside of it. And put the final wheel right here. <laughs> The fact that this is even working slightly is incredible. I know that doesn't really look like a stick figure. In fact, I don't want to know what this kind of looks like, okay? Just, it's supposed to be a stick figure. Also, I can finally draw my dead body stick figure. Here we go. And then one leg up here, and then one leg down here. There. Yes! Oh, it works perfectly! Too much weight. Or not really too much weight. It's more of a matter of where his head was. So, give him some big legs. There. So now the wheel is right where his ear would be, which is probably a better place. Oh, oh, dead stick figure for the win. Yes, we have a winner. I know what you're saying. Is your car just the word yeet? Yes, although my car mostly fell apart. The word yeet is that there's not much of the yeet left. Oh God, I probably should have put some extra. Oh, I'm running over my own yeet. I was gonna say, I probably should have put some of the extra like power in the back of the vehicle because the Y just wasn't enough weight. You won. I don't feel like I won anything. Okay, now I'm actually against somebody. You have to get money so that you can increase the things that your car does. What if my car is just a shotgun? I actually have to draw the shotgun upside down just because of how this thing works. Can it have like a little pew pew coming out of it? Kind of, it just has to be connected. Put the trigger down here, it's the slide. This actually looks more like a car than my last car. I mean, my last car was just the word yeet. So it does make sense. Mm, my first chunks of money. We're gonna get air. Oh my God, it's not the car that matters in the distance, it's my body. <laughs> broken bones, <laughs> there's a broken bones meter, yes. I love the positive reinforcement. Ooh. This is what winning feels like. So now I have a wheel on top. I guess I could draw like Pac-Man. I don't know if I have enough, oh, okay, good. I was gonna say, I didn't know if I'd have enough ink to actually connect this. Can I get an eyeball in here? Does it have to connect to anything? It kind of does, there it is. What am I up against? Oh, I'm like doing backflips. Oh, this is why I have the three wheels. Pac-Man is doing incredibly well. Luckily, this thing is pretty flexible. Okay, so then you slide down the poles. I can't believe I didn't get part of my car ripped in half. The car can obviously fall apart. And look at that launch. Oh my God. How many broken bones we got here? 106. Uh, does this give me more wheels? Like, does this give me more frame? What does any of this mean? Give me more frame. What happened? All it did was like water down my frame. I mean, I guess it's stronger. Oh, cool. I get a car with a mohawk. Give it a large nose, kind of like a mouth, a little grin right there. There's the eyeball. I think this is gonna work. Do I have enough, do I have enough ink for an ear? Eh, ah, just barely. That's kind of a sad ear. Can I make a bigger ear? No, now it just looks like part of my ear got ripped off my head. Are you ready? I gotta find a way. Like, oh, the guy didn't even make it up the first part. Look at how far he is behind me. I gotta find a way to draw this in such, in su oh God, oh, in such a way that it launches my dude as far as possible. Well, the front of my car is missing now. <laughs> So he did, in fact, fly straight out, fly straight through the windshield. All right, I guess now I can buy up the uh, the wheels. What is this? They don't look like wheels now. They look like cinnamon buns. Uh... All right, here's the plan. We're going to connect this. I'm going to just do the holy Dorito because, like I said, I want this guy to go flying as far as possible. Oh, I actually have to drive now. Okay. No, well, you should have told me that before I... <laughs> There's nothing left of my car. No! The Dorito didn't work. A circle is a stronger shape. So I'm just gonna kind of see if this does anything or if my frame just explodes apart, which is exactly what happened just now. Although we started to come back a little bit. All right, you know what? I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use more ink up here. Okay, so I've doubled up on ink on the top. Now that should give, give us some extra weight up there. Okay, it's working good so far. Oh yeah. See, it hasn't, it hasn't immediately snapped this time, which is gonna lead to a big win. Now, hopefully my guy gets launched. There we go. <laughs> Cause there's really nothing holding him in where I put him. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh 
over the barrier. Nice smooth 106 bones there. All right, so now we can increase the tire size. This looks less like a car and more like something that's trying to break my spine. I'm trying to draw a hand with really stubby fingers. Kind of looks like a cauliflower. My vehicle isn't actually connected, so I don't even know if this can roll. <laughs> can it just sit there? What if it's like a, what if it's like a spider thing? Like this, and then put like some, uh, some struts in there. Actually, yeah, let's put some more struts in here. There we go. This looks, this looks strong. This looks very unsafe. There is nothing holding this man into his vehicle. Hopefully he can do a full flip. Nope, he just lost part of his skull and most of his wheels. Come on, baby. You can still do this. 50% of a car is 50% more than you really need. Oh, we're winning this. I can't believe this is winning this. There's almost nothing left of this car. Yeah! Yes! The best part is, like, part of my car just kept going on its own. Look at how far that got. How come we can't use that as the judgment of how far we got? I guess I'll, uh, I don't know, get a max speed. I should have probably increased the durability. <laughs> All right, so what if I put, like, a little globe around our guy? This looks so ridiculously top-heavy. <laughs> I guess I could connect it. Oh, never mind. I couldn't connect it. I didn't have enough juice left. It looks like I'm trying to protect him. Ugh, but not really. There's only one piece left. Oh, the other, so if it catches you, it kind of counts. Like, my car is in two different pieces, but they're still technically working together. Okay, now there's just one piece left. And I roll to the finish. It's meant to make you feel bad because you don't actually break any bones if you don't get launched. Great, Now, so now it's me and my son. Let's try this in the Dorito formation. Actually, you know what? What happens if it's double Dorito? Top and bottom down Dorito. Oh, well... So, there's a few things I need to say here. First off, I didn't connect this very well, and we're going to die, but his son died first. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna scribble in the middle there. Maybe that'll, maybe that'll give it some extra, extra juice to work here. Oh yeah, that's working real good. Okay, all right. Both of us are still alive, I don't know how. We're both eating the concrete now, which is good. Full front flip, through the bricks, down. Got one coin out of this, that's it. Oh God. <laughs> I mean, we're both still on the machine, but my son and I are both probably dead. Like, we've both been turned into a fine paste. Who was it that got launched? Was that me or my kid? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and crank up that durability. Oh yeah, they give you a lot of ink now. This is what I wanted. See, now I can have a literal banana, which makes me very happy. In fact, I can even, I can even make, like, part of the banana peel there. Kinda going this way. There's more banana peel down there. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, this is fantastic. It's like a sad boat, basically. That's what it feels like anyway. All right, through the front. Wait, this is driving incredibly well. <laughs> I can't believe that bananas were so aerodynamic this whole time. Now it's starting to fall apart. This jump's probably just going to disintegrate the banana mobile. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! Failed how? <laughs> What do you mean I failed? Didn't I win? I got 57 bones broken for my for my efforts. Oh, I won! I don't get it! Failed what? I managed to do two things at once. Totally counted. X. Box. There we go. Alright, let's see how well the Xbox drives. Okay, the Xbox is kind of- it drives kind of like an amoeba. If you notice, it's just kind of- Wow. Oh god. Oh, this is awful. Oh, never mind, this is amazing. Oh, I am fantastic at driving this thing. Yep, just stay in there as long as you can, buddy. Yep. <laughs> We're not getting a lot of distance right now. Oh, my vehicle just ran me over. All right, so we can increase acceleration now. Oh, I've got two children. They're multiplying. All right, here's the plan. We're gonna kind of connect things like this. All right, then we're gonna get the sweet snow plow in the front, like this here. Look at that, looks like a tractor. Come back around this way, kind of cross it like this, put a windshield on here. Looks like the Jetsons car. I'm not even really sure. Like, I it, it was kind of like supposed to be a snow plow in the beginning. Oh, wow. Oh, big air. Oh, yeah, great suspension, too. And by great suspension, I mean... <laughs> Whatever kid was in the front just absolutely got stuck underneath the wheel well. All right, I'm gonna try and win this big time, and then we gotta get a ton more money to get upgrades. What if it's just like a spiral? I know I said I was gonna take this seriously, and then I drew that, but you know, it might work. See, we get all three tires touching the ground right now, see? Look at, this is big brain stuff right here. See, the other guy only had two tires. Oh yeah, big air, big air, holy crap. 
I didn't realize we would get that much air. We're going to get all the way. Oh, my God. Oh, it's got all the way to the end. How many bones was that? 118. Time to increase the frame to green. I don't really know how the color green could possibly be any better than what we already have. Here's a sailboat. I'll put that like there. When I look at what the other creature is creating. In fact, I think I'm just going to make like a stick figure next time. I'm going to see how that works. I don't know if I could. Oh God! I made it without using the without using the the chassis grinder. Yes! Big distance. Ow! Like here, if you if you draw like the stick figure body, okay, kind of bring this up here. Draw the head. <laughs> draw the arms. This is oh, we're gonna die so fast. <laughs> I can't believe this is working. <laughs> oh, no. oh, God. Come on, baby. We're still in first place. We can do this. <laughs> no. Hold on. Let me see if I can. The opponent hasn't even gotten past the first, like the first area. So we're we're basically winning by default. We should not have won this. I drew a stick figure. This shouldn't even be a thing. I'm gonna break my back on this. Okay, good. Keep the wheels moving. Okay, now it just looks like buttons. The wheels seem to be getting worse. Not gonna lie, the last time I drew like a broccoli, things seem to work out, you know, pretty good. Hopefully I can connect my broccoli. That looks more like a, like a badminton shuttlecock. Um, ow. Well, hopefully I don't really need the back of my skull. Ugh because I'm going to be losing most of it. Oh, see, all I did was get rid of a lot of extraneous weight. See, it's so much, so much lighter now. We're gonna get so much extra distance. Look at the distance. Ugh. More tire size. Kill. Come on, let me have the full Ellen. Yes. All right, the Killmobile is ready. All right, well, part of the Killmobile actually left the rest of the vehicle. Maybe that was a great idea. Like I said, in the end, this thing is like Skynet levels of intelligence. Okay, it's actually trying to strangle me. My vehicle tried to just bludgeon me to death, which makes total sense. Oh no, there's nothing left. Oh God, there's nothing left. I have to use my vehicle to run my body over to the end. <laughs> Whatever, it worked. All right, here's a head. There's the eyes. There's the unhappy mouth. I love that the mouth can just kind of like sit here in the middle of nowhere. I think it'll just like limply fall to the ground. Yeah, it's just extraneous weight just sitting on the bottom of the car, but I had to have it there just to have the face in the first place. All right, now luckily my son's head just broke our fall. That turned out to be excellent. We go ahead and flop down here. We're somehow on the top of this ramp. That's interesting. <laughs> okay, man, upgrading the frame was a great idea, and here we go. I love that now it's not even deciding how many bones get broken. It's just like, ah, it's somewhere, somewhere around this here. I didn't even hit the ground yet. I'm literally driving a sock. My sock will destroy the opponent. You can see it right now. You can see the speed. You can see the agility. You can see one chunk of my sock just got vomited. Okay, most of my sock is gone. The only thing that was left was like the heel. And that was enough to send me into- Oh no. <laughs> that was enough to actually bludgeon me after I hit the ground as well. That broke 66 bones out of that. But we still haven't gotten, like, light speed. There has to be a way to bring this all- to glitch this out and go faster. Don't mind me. Just literally strapping a rocket to my back. Why? Well... I figure it could give me the edge, but in the end, my vehicle just, you know, disintegrated at the end anyway. Bigger wheels! I'm actually kind of curious what happens if you draw this thing basically in reverse. Like, you draw, like, a giant brain on top, and you just connect the seat with one single stem. Well, about to find out. I mean, it does- it looks like the guy next to me had kind of a- Whoa, this is super fast! Oh my god! Whoa! <laughs> Somehow I managed to go light speed! Yay! I don't understand. <laughs> Normally I need like a joke 
to start off these things. With this game, I actually don't. Because as time goes on, you can see I'm using my buddy as a unicycle and then he will boost me so I can get bonus coins. Now I can get, I don't... <laughs> There's two human bodies as wheels, and there's one dude that's like the handlebar. I don't know what this is, but I have the money for it, and I want it. You know what? I want both of these. I can also get this here, so we're just going to spend all this money. All right, so <laughs> I'm surfing on a man. <laughs> ah! I never thought in my wildest dreams that I would be using my best friends as a means of transportation, like physically. They're like, well, who's driving? I mean, it's technically me. I, I don't really know how to explain this. Okay, so now I have to go through walls that will try and reduce my friends. Well, that's very unfortunate. Okay, we've almost unlocked a new vehicle that is this. I don't even want to know. It looks like a, a roller coaster ride, except made with tons of people. I got a free gift. It's a Segway. <laughs> what do I get for the wheel of pain over here? Does this just change the color of my person? Oh, now I'm just, now I'm going to absorb humanity as a green guy. Well, that's fine, I guess. Okay, yeet us over here. Do not touch the minus five. And we've evolved to the chopper again. I really gotta get past this. Like, can I eventually become a tank or like some sort of helicopter or something? Oh, I can become a full car now. The thing that really blows me away is that like, we're just at the very beginning and this is where we already are. <laughs> we're already had a full fledged car made out of human bodies. Look at how stacked you get too. You just stand on each other's shoulders. We're gonna go to the moon. All right, new gift. It's an F1 car. Where's that F1 car at? Take my money. 550 for a buggy? Sold. Oh, there it is. Maybe I can buy it later. I want a different color. Give it to me. What do we got? Okay. I'm shadowy vehicle man now. Although I always turn yellow when I hit the ground, which is kind of interesting. Okay, we're, we're partway through the buggy right now. So we're going to get three... Oh yeah. Oh, we're moving right along. It's 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 a lot of assembly, a lot of human assembly <laughs> to get past the buggy though. Bust through some walls. Oh, can I get all three? No. I still have like five wheels of human beings though, and we're now as tall as like a 30-story skyscraper at this point. Butterfly versus me. His name is Butterfly. Okay. So what is this? Who can make the biggest car? Oh, you get to make cars big on on this now. Here we go. Okay, we're still mostly a buggy. This we're not with not much of a buggy left, but there's some of it. Whoa! Okay, now my buggy actually has people sitting in it. And there we go, we won. Where's Butterfly at? Does he even get to finish? Or does he just crash and burn behind me? His name was Butterfly before, but now it's like Butterfire because he's burning in a heap somewhere in the last board. Whoa. Okay, now the now the stairs are starting to move. I like how there's like different obstacles on each board. Whoa! Okay. And a big Yetus onto the plus three. We are into the buggy now. That is fantastic. Still haven't gotten I think that the buggy is as good as we can get right now because I'm about to like set it up completely. Yeah, we're at we're at the last phase of the buggy. And that is a lot of human beings standing on top of one another to get 3.1. Okay, it's a truck. Okay. Sure it is. All right, what, what's new in the store over here? Oh, what? A bus? Absolutely. For a mere 700 gems? Okay, now I think we do have the F1 car at this point. I don't know what decides, like, where you turn into it. I may have to go back and see if I can, like, auto-select it, but I'm almost sure. Hold on, it's coming up here. That we have... Let me get past all this. The truck, which is going to be epic. So one or three, we'll take the three. Okay, so right about the end of the buggy right there. Is this a plane? <laughs> you know you drew the short straw when you're the prop. Okay, we're gonna try this. We're gonna go monowheel or unicycle. We're gonna go unicycle to Segway. So you can choose each one of these to the F1. I kind of want the bus. <laughs> All right, I think that's how this works. Here we go. All right, so yeah, this is the Segway. Oh yeah. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. All right, the bus is starting to really pull up here. This is hot. Don't go into the traffic cones. I don't know why, but I feel like they're kind of evil. More of the bus is starting to get put together. Anytime I see tra I'll, I'll take the people rather than the gems. Oh, I'll take the people all day. Starting to get all the wheels on the bus. There's even some people sitting inside. And we're going way past 3.1 now. Oh, yeah. All the way up to 3.9. What new present do you have for me? 
What could it be? <laughs> oh, no. I love how this dude's back is just broken over the wheel. All right, I'm going to choose. I'm going to choose the truck this time. We don't have access to this yet. We should get it in a little bit. And I actually kind of want the car for this. I kind of want the triple motorcycle. <laughs> I am one single man. Never mind. I have three friends now. And by friends, I mean, I'm literally using them to get from point A to point B. Not because I don't want to pay for gas money, but like, you know, their bodies are what... What transports me around? Okay, don't hit the cones. Nice. Oh yeah. Oh this this truck looks amazing. Starting right off with the car. Barely had to do anything for it. Magnets are putting in all the work. Look at this. Bam. Truck looking sweet. Going for all people. All the time. We got the full truck. That's fine. I'll take the minus four because there's a plus four. And yeah, we got the fully packed truck. So now I'm curious if a fully packed truck actually gives you less points. That Yeah, so the bus is better. The people plane is halfway there. I still have yet to max out the bus, but I want to do it. So this is like six people. Okay, we're two away from maxing out the bus. Hit that wall. Get a plus one. Plus one. Minus three. But then... Uh, yeah, there we go. Finally maxed out the bus. Someone asks in class, what does it take to make a bus? It takes about 30 people. Not working. I mean, like, 30 human bodies. All right, we're up against Solly. And I have a feeling we're going to win here. Because we're stacked tall on the car. The car is faster than whatever piece of garbage he's using his people to make. All right, speed! Woo! Oh, my God! <laughs> I wasn't so much building a bus with people, I was literally just mowing them down. <laughs> I was turning all my friends into roadkill, but somehow that's how you win in life. All right, let's try a different color here. The color is... Hey, it's gray! I'm, we're keeping it! <laughs> yes! Also, that... Was I sitting on the unicycle that time? It looked like I was just like... Like sitting watching TV on the unicycle or something. It was really odd. The bus is also so wide. That, like, you don't need to do anything. It pretty much just picks up everything without any effort from you. If there was literally, like, 35 grays in this world, I, I'm not sure I'd want to live in it. Like, me, myself. Oh, this is neat. Whoa! Whoa, whoa! I was gonna say it's an easy one. All of a sudden, there was a bunch of traffic cones chilling out of the middle of the road. Who put those there? All right, grab it. Ugh. Well, grab it. Again, it just seems like I'm hitting the people. It's not so much as having people volunteer. It's more of just plowing over them with a vehicle and then picking them up while they're unconscious and turning them into part of the vehicle. There it is. A literal airplane. <laughs> oh, it's a bigger airplane. Oh, it's a biplane. All right, more wings means more human bodies. So that's why we're keeping it. Oh, yeah, we're moving right past bus. We're immediately in plane and you do actually have to fly. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Whoa! Oh, this is so drunk right now. Uh, and having the plane is amazing. Look at the height of people! Yes! Finally into the fours! What is this? It's like a forklift or something! I need to know. Okay. Four, four. Oh, they just they're just handing it to you now. They want you to have oh, if you didn't have the plane. If you didn't have the plane, you were pretty much ow, 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 ow. Oh, I could just sit here. <laughs> Oh, no, you can't! It eventually blows you up! Uh, looks like there's more people on this side, so we're choosing this. Yeah. When you get a bus in the first, like, ten seconds, that's- No! Oh! Oh! Whoa! Okay. Quick reflexes and just assuming that everything in this world is out to murder me really helped there. We're gonna get the maxed out plane and then fly through the tubes. Okay. This is working. And then... There we go. Thumbnail hole. And watch this, bring it in for a perfect landing. We have maxed out the plane stack. Okay, we're more than a quarter way to whatever this is. I think it's a helicopter. I kind of want it to be a helicopter, but I kind of don't want it to be a helicopter. Like, everything in this entire game is so ridiculously cursed. I don't really know how I feel about it. All right, just fly straight ahead. All right, I kind of clipped the top of that wall there, but, you know, giving the stonemason something to do. There we go. Okay, perfect. And we still managed to max out the plane, even after, you know, hitting a wall randomly. All right, what gift did I get? What is it? Better be something amazing. A twin jet! Okay. I don't have access to it yet, but oh, I can finally do the tractor, though. And I'm actually gonna do- I'm gonna do everything on the bottom. All right. 
Haven't really gotten to see the tractor yet, so now getting to see it, that's hideous. It's only around for a second because I gotta do my flying over here. There we go. I don't know what happens if you hit that. I imagine it's instant death. The other ones, you lose part of your plane, and those walls, I, I think you just you just explode, and all your guys go flying. They curse your name as their bodies break. And they all get a horrible road rash. Ah, uh, plus one's all down here. Ah, uh, it's better to go up top. Yeah, we're going up top this time. Oh, no! I didn't- Oh, you have to do it. Okay, because you need a plane in order to actually get past all this. All right. So, always go over to the right. There we go. Back over to the right. And we've got the plane right away. Okay. Ah! Oh, my God! Okay, the wall actually had its own thumbnail hole. Like, it was a thumbnail hole inside of a thumbnail hole. I didn't realize that. Uh, where are you supposed to go here? Oh, you have to take the minus 11 and just, like, what, jump your tiny little seg- Look at how far the bodies went! Jump your tiny little segway onto this? Okay. Now the boards are getting, are getting like, legitimately difficult. <laughs> Alright, we got the plane. First thumbnail hole. No problem. Second thumbnail hole. No problem. We're gonna go over. Through here. Alright, I guess we're just gonna land this. Here we go! <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, it's like the dollar store version of Batman <laughs> flying around Gotham. Come on, I gotta get the plane. Okay, good. And we did get the plane so that we could at least survive. Wow, in the end, all I had left was the F1 car. I've got to hit as many people as humanly possible. Again, I never thought I would say that, but... Well, what am I talking about? I, I guess I knew I would say that. Now I have to go inside of tubes? Okay. That doesn't actually seem that bad. It's actually a little bit easier than, like, the... The little Yeezy walls. Minus 22. Am I gonna have a Segway left? Yeah, it's only Segways. <sighs> okay, and then murder everyone, drop down on the tractor, and then finish it off. I want my jet. I don't care what it takes. Here, my jet. And through. Perfect. Uh, I'll take the top Yeedy too because that's a boost. Oh, yeah. Well, that makes this a little bit harder. Oh, God. And the Oh, he died, like, right away. <laughs> he didn't even get past the first part. Why was I even doing this for? I could have just pulled over. In the quest of... Oh, wow, they moved now. Okay. Uh, all right. That's, that's a new and exciting addition to the pain that I have to deal with here. So, minus one no matter what. And that will turn me back into a sad vehicle. And now it's just, like... A slow burn of all of the people in my life. Well, it's not really anything good. It's basically just that I that I abuse so I can finish the board. 91% were right there. After having a time where I was struggling to even get a decent vehicle to drive, now it's just all plain all the time. Yes. There's a lot of gems you can get in this one, too, if you have the plane. Oh, my God. It's amazing. There we go. That is about as as bonus as bonus could get. And the helicopter's ready. All right, we've maxed this out. Now everything's maxed. Perfect. And go over to the store. We can get the even cooler one. <laughs> oh, and I can get the twin jet. All right, here we go. Finally, our vehicles have gotten to just an utterly ridiculous point. Okay, dodge all this completely random, like, nerf death area. Crap. Um... Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, the twin jet looks pretty cool. Kind of a tight fit through here, though. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, ow! Okay, that's working out quite good. Whoa, whoa, hey, oh, okay. All right, yeah! The tilt rotor! Look at the tower! <laughs> I do have to max that out, though, because I gotta see how big it gets. Now there's random blades on the ground. I'm surprised the blades didn't come much earlier in this, to be to be quite honest with you. It kind of seems like they're always there. All right, we already have the twin jet, so things are going really good. I just I don't want to hit any. Whoa, okay, I almost I almost knocked myself out there. Getting down on this thing is a little bit of a pain because it has a tendency to just kind of like rise on its own. Ow, 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 and it doesn't like turn. So all right, stack them to the moon. Ow. Oh, I have to- I have to get hit by these. Okay. Plus five. Okay. Minus one plus five. I better get the plane, otherwise I'm screwed. Oh, I'm screwed. Okay, so one- you have to hit one of these. There's really no choice. So five. We should get the plane this time, as long as I only hit- yeah, the least amount. Whoa! You have to go between double- <laughs> 
You could possibly go between like double, I don't even know what those were, like like spiky pancake makers. Alright, the tilt rotor is almost maxed out, but there's like five people left I can get. Alright, come on everyone. I have to get everyone I know together to max out the tilt rotor. This is your jobs now. Don't worry. Whoa. Don't worry. It's it's a good it'll be a good death. <laughs> it's it's worth it, trust me. Okay. So now I have to go through the hole. Oh, I kind of skimped that one, but it's okay. There we go. And then drop it down. Okay, we already have the tilt rotor. That's great. There better be Oh yeah. Oh, this is happening. And it's nice and slow too. It's very easily maneuverable. Okay. Whoa! The last two walls. Are you kidding me? We're gonna get past times five though. 100% we're going past times five. 5.1. 5 uh, three. Yeah, three. Okay. Well, this is working out quite well. Three on this side, three on this side. Perfect. And a, a gift. Okay. That was like double battle axes? Ah! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Oh, but it's okay. I can just fly over everything now because you get to keep it. And we maxed out the tail road and the stack is complete. Yeah! 5.5. Well, I made a bunch of friends and I ruined all their lives. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Human Vehicle. Till next time, stay foxy about slow.